swim and dive team practices and where some of the girls will still be practicing to get ready for more championship meets. Earlier today, I spoke with Coach Schimmel about this epic season and what else is to come. The swimming and diving season is over for most of the Razorbacks. A select few will continue competing well into March, either at NCAA events or training for Olympic trials. What makes this group of girls so special is that five out of the ten are seniors still working hard at the pool. You know, we have ten seniors graduating, and to go what we've gone through for for four years, uh, the workload academically as well as athletically um, is pretty challenging. Um, and so for these ten women to do that together um, and to still be here and be walking together in May is, is really special. Coach Schimmel says going into these next few meets, it's important to focus on controlling what you can control, be your best, and always strive for top performances. You know, any anytime someone did a best performance, that's just really special. Lifetime best performance is really special. Um, you know, and having them come down the pool deck and the excitement on their faces and, and um, seeing that, that's just, th those what uh, stick with me. You know, there's always more to be had, which is what we're shooting for. And, you know, so I've, you know, going into NC2As, which is what we have next, um, where we have zones, and then we have NC2As, and I'm just looking for those to be our best performances all year. Schimmel says he hopes that the girls going on and still competing can perform with the same pride and relentlessness that they have all year long, like when they won the Georgia Tech invite back in November and when they got the best times or their best performances at SEC championships earlier or last week. For UATV, I'm Hannah Bortnick. Back to you guys.